The title of the talk is Multiple Linear Cryptanalysis Using Linear Statistics. I'm Zheng Li, and this is joint work with Wuhan Kim. We present improved and extended approach of multiple linear cryptanalysis that exploit dominant and statistically independent linear trails. We present threshold-based, rank-based, and combined algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 style attacks. We provide formulas for success probability and advantage in terms of data size, collection of trails, and threshold parameter. Under some hypothesis on statistical independence of wrong key and right key statistics. We then apply the method to full this, exploiting four linear trails. We get a text with complex paradigm comparable with existing linear text on this. We provide strong experimental verification. We start with introduction and preliminaries. Then we present our multiple linear attacks. And then we apply our method to this. And then we consider generalizing our framework to a more general setting where we exploit non-dominant and dependent linear trails. Finally, we conclude. Throughout this work, we consider key alternating iterative block cipher that comes from a long key cipher consisting of rounds where each round is the concatenation of round key exclusive or R with a, a round permutation. By a linear trail gamma, we mean a sequence of linear mass gamma i such that gamma i and gamma i plus 1 are the initial and final mass for the round permutation fi. By a linear hull, we mean the set of linear trails with the initial mask gamma and final mask gamma prime. In linear cryptanalysis, we consider several linear correlations. The linear correlation of a vector value the Boolean function with respect to pair of masks. The linear correlation of a linear hull for a given long key. C gamma denotes the, denotes the key independent linear correlation of a trail. By epsilon hat, we mean the undersampled correlation for a data that consists of plain text and ciphertext pairs. One of the most well known facts in linear correlation is that the linear correlation of the linear hull is the sum of all the parity adjusted linear correlations of trail, where this number is called the parity bit determined by the trail lambda and the long key. By this fact, if gamma is a diamond trail, the linear correlation of the linear hull is very close to the parity adjusted linear correlation of the trail gamma regardless of the long key. Unless mentioned otherwise, we assume that the gamma and gamma j are dominant and fixed. The data size n is much less than 2 to the n, where n is the block size. The collisions and the collisions trails are much greater than 2 to the minus n over 2. The correct key and long key are fixed. In classical masses algorithm 1, we use a single diamond trail gamma and try to recover the parity bit. So given the sample or data D, we compute the understampled correlation epsilon hat and determine the parity bit to be zero if and only if the undersampled correlation and the Collection of the trail has the same sign. All the linear tests require a suitable hypothesis regarding the distribution of right key statistics and wrong key statistics to theoretically estimate its success probability and attack complexity. The right key hypothesis presumed for algorithm 1 is that the undersampled collision times minus most 1 to beta star can regard this random variable with the set of data d vary and that its probability distribution is very close to the normal distribution with mean, the trail correlation, and various 
1 over n. This hypothesis is based on the aforementioned fact on the linear correlation of the linear hull and that the binomial distributions are approximated by normal distributions. Under the hypothesis, the success probability of the attack is estimated as phi of square root n times the absolute value of epsilon, where phi is the cumulative distribution function of the standard normal distribution. Matsu's algorithm 2 tries to add out rounds to a tray of gamma for the inner safer. We try to recover a parity bit and some outer round key bits. So given data D, we use the statistic minus 1 to beta times the undersampling correlation to pick out or rank the candidates for the correct parity bit and the correct outer key. Here, by outer key, we mean the bit string obtained by concatenating outer round key bits involved in the outer round competition of this mass exclusive OR. So the mass exclusive OR can be expressed as a function of kappa and the plain test and the cipher test. And the under sample correlation come from kappa and D can be computed in this way. And after picking out or ranking candidates, we proceed with trial encryption. The right key hypothesis for algorithm 2 is that minus 1 to the correct parity bit times the undersampled correlation has the normal distribution with mean epsilon and variance 1 over n. The one key hypothesis is that the undersampled correlation for the wrong key has a normal di distribution with mean 0 and there is 1 over n. For rank based attacks, we assume some hypothesis on independence so that the order statistics for the wrong key statistics and the right key statistics are independent. From this hypothesis, we get success probability and advantage. We now consider algorithm to style multiple linear attacks. So the setting is given here. We have M dominant statistically independent trails gamma J's. Let epsilon j be the coalition of trail gamma j for each j, and let epsilon be the square root of the sum of the epsilon j's squares. So the objective of the attack is given data d, we recover kappa star and beta star, where kappa star is the correct value of the outer key kappa. There is a bit string obtained by combining kappa j's removing redundancy. Here, kappa j is the bit string obtained by concatenating outer one qubits involved in the outer one computation for the trail gamma j. We assume for simplicity that bits of kappa j's are either identical or independent. And beta star is the vector consisting of, of correct parity bits. We will use a statistic T that depends on the outer key kappa and can be for the correct vector of paired bits beta and theta D. So the statistic is expressed as follows. It is the sum of minus 1 to beta J times the correlation of J's trail and N times the under sample of correlation for the trail gamma j with the applied outer key kappa j. Now we describe three algorithm to style of text. One is uh, threshold based that we call algorithm to MT. 
in this threshold based algorithm, we pick out the pairs satisfying this threshold, threshold condition. In rank based attacks, we rank kappa betas according to the value of the statistic. In our combined attack, we pick out candidates satisfying the threshold condition and then rank them. It turns out that this combined method yields better advantage than algorithm to empty the threshold based for peers close to 1. Algorithm style multiple linear attacks, we need to consider wrong key types. For J sub O, there is proper subset of the set of integers from 1 to the m. Kappa is said to have the wrong key type J sub O if the set of indices such that kappa J equals kappa J star is equal to J sub O. We denote by double J sub O the set of kappas having the wrong key type J sub O. For J sub O and J sub I, kappa beta is said to have the wrong key type J sub O, J sub I, if kappa has the wrong key type J sub O and beta has the type J sub I. Here, beta is, is said to have type J if set of indices J such that beta J equals beta J star is equal to J. If beta has the type J, we denote it by beta super J. We denote by double J sub O, J sub I, the set of kappa betas have the wrong key type, J sub O, J sub I. Before proceeding further, we need to consider multivariate normal distributions. So let mu be an m-dimensional real vector and sigma be a positive definite m by m matrix over R. An m-variate random variable x is said to have a normal distribution with mean vector mu and the covariance matrix sigma if it has the following PDF. This distribution is denoted denote by this symbol. The probability that an m-variate normal random variable satisfies the linear inequalities can be expressed in a very simple form. We will need this formula repeatedly in this work. In this case, the sigma is the product of the matrix sigma times its transpose, and phi denotes the city of the standard normal distribution. For algorithm style linear tests, we need to consider the distribution of vector valued random variable for its wrong key type. So we will denote that by x sub j sub o. The hypothesis used for algorithm style linear attack is that this vector valued random variable has some vector valued normal distribution with the mean vector and the sigma vector like this. Here, the point is that this sigma matrix is diagonal. This means that each component statistics are independent. We will do this distribution by this symbol. And we consider somewhat stronger hypothesis. So for each J sub O, we consider this vector value random variable having the distribution determined by M plus U component statistics. Note that the components are right key statistics and wrong key statistics. So the, the hypothesis here is that this extended vector value random variable also has some normal distribution. In algorithm 2MT, there is threshold based. We determine kappa beta to be correct if it satisfies certain threshold condition. The success probability in this case can be computed as the probability that a normal random variable satisfies certain linear inequality, and this can be computed very easily. The fourth, prob fourth line probability can be computed similarly. So we need to consider the probability that the wrong keys of type each type satisfy the threshold condition. Here, this case sub denotes the number of bits in the kappa. So the fourth line probability for each type also can be computed as the probability that a normal random variable satisfies the linear inequality. So it can be also computed easily. And the first 
learn probabilities can be computed some of those photon probabilities and the advantage looks like this our rank based algorithm we just rank those candidates according to the statistic the success probability in this case is one because it is essentially an exhaustive search the false alarm probability in this case can also be computed as the probability that kappa beta of type is ranked higher than the correct value here the false alarm probability for each type also can be computed as the probability that a normal random variable satisfies certain linear inequality and can be computed easily the false alarm probability can be computed as some of those false alarm probabilities and the advantage is just this number in the combined attack we pick out betas, k beta, kappa beta says find the threshold condition and then rank them according to the statistic the success probability in this case is the same as in the threshold algorithm and the first line probability can be computed in the similar way here the first line probability for each type can be computed as a probability that a vector normal random variable satisfies two linear inequalities simultaneously this can be estimated numerically or by simulation here the false alarm probability can be computed as some of those numbers and advantage is this number we apply our method to test we exploit four linear trails the details of the trails are as follows so the outer key has 48 bits we perform our combined attack in the usual manner we perform experiments using 1000 keys for each key we take the size of data which to, to the 42.78 the theoretical and experimental success probabilities are as follows here the circles represent the experimental results theoretical and experimental advantages are in, in this figure we see that the theoretical and experimental results match in 2004 Birkhoff and others proposed a notable method of multiple linear cryptanalysis they presented algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 style text for each attack, they provide formula for advantage estimated in terms of trade collisions and data complexity. This attack is ranked based in the success probability is fixed to one. So, but the attacks have limitations that its advantage is not analyzed theoretically for success probability less than one, and the experimental advantage is not satisfactory. For example, and applied to tests as shown recently. Later, multidimensional linear cryptanalysis has been proposed. It is a very powerful method, but it also has limitation that it does not yield attack better than Massey's old attack on this by several reasons. Recently, several notable linear attacks on this has appeared. They are multiple linear cryptanalysis using eight dependent trails, conditional linear cryptanalysis, and analysis using a separate statistics. Our attacks have comparable complexities as, as those, but advantageous with small data size. Note that these attacks are somewhat effi more efficient than Massey's old attacks. Now we would like to explain why our attacks are efficient. The linear statistics we used are separable and the overhead in adding outer rounds is minimized. Almost the same as the old LL statistic of the constant. And in our attack, path bits are recovered at the same time so that advantage is increased a bit. Other methods 
do not consider recovering them. And the multivariate normal distribution is considered allows to get estimates of their complexity better than using other statistics. Now we can generalize our method to exploit closely dominant dependent trails. We use modified hypothesis on distributions of multivariate random variables. We present multivariate normal distributions for the different mean vectors and covariance matrices that need to be precompeted in advance. We perform the same procedure with similar statistics. We use linear statistics with varying coefficients. The success probability and first, prob first run probability can be computed in the same way for each attack. Each probability can be computed as the probability of regions represented by linear cards for multivariate normal random variables. We conclude here. We present multiple linear tests using multiple dominant linear tests, linear trails. We apply the method to full test to exhibit the validity of statistical models and to show the effectiveness of the tech.